What's up guys, you here with Josh Bailey and welcome to my channel. And if you're a returning viewer, welcome back. Today, I'm gonna tell you why I'm doing this. I had a disappointment. One Sunday, I went to Chick-fil-A. It was closed, I was sad, and I didn't want that to happen again. So, what we're gonna do today is make a homemade Chick-fil-A that's not gonna taste, I can't say it's gonna taste better, right? It's nothing like Chick-fil-A, but it definitely is gonna be healthier. So, I do have a Chick-fil-A sandwich that I'm gonna somewhat resemble and copy. And what I get from Chick-fil-A is, if I'm trying to be healthy, I mean, I'm going for the grilled sandwich, but just to be real, I'm going with the number one, deluxe style. There's just a little lettuce and tomatoes on there. And because I don't eat it all the time, I'm going with the large fry. I think this is actually a medium fry. But here we go. So I have some, not waffle fries, but they're kind of like wavy chip type of style. All right, potatoes cut. Got my chicken breast here. And I'm gonna show you guys how to make your chicken bread it without having like too much flour and unnecessary stuff on it, all right? So let's get started. We're gonna start with the chicken, right? And somebody in my last video asked me, why did you not season the food first? It, it really doesn't matter unless you kind of like marinate it. For this, I actually want to season the first because it has to go through a process and it has to be seasoned before it touches this. So, we're sticking to low sodium. And what Chick-fil-A has, right? It has a great flavor, great taste. I mean, you can't, you can't knock Chick-fil-A at all. Great service, but it is high in sodium. With this sandwich, you can have three or four, and then you might hit a thousand, but that's a big comparison. And then you have fries that's gonna be baked, then not made in a bunch of oil, all right? So, let's, let's, let's dress it up nicely. A little paprika, ground pepper. I just used a rub that has very low sodium in it. A little pepper. Right, you don't get that much pepper at Chick-fil-A, but you want to balance out that taste. A little garlic, and don't forget, this is how you want it to taste. And if you want it to taste like Chick-fil-A, I'll be honest with you, I don't know what they put in there. I just know it's good. Pickle juice. All right? <laughs> so we just gonna, we're gonna dress it up as if we didn't have a choice and just make it taste good overall. All right, a little seasoning salt here, guys. This is a little high in sodium, but, you know, sprinkle, all right? Sprinkle it over there, and we're gonna double side these to make it taste good. Boom, there we go. A little bit of our salt here. Is my thing running? I think it's running. I think it's ready for me. All right. Now, here we go. First, little drizzle. I'm not even gonna dump it in there. Take it, rub it around on it. Just gonna do a, do a, a slight rub. Flour is a carb, right? It is, is adds a lot of carbohydrates to you, which makes you start to gain belly fat. So that's why you see people gaining weight, because they probably eat a lot of fried foods or breads with a lot of flour on it. All we want is a layer of flour, just so we can get a bread crumb look. All right, so. Let's do all of them. So I wanna ask you guys, what do you, what do you like best about Chick-fil-A? All right, leave some in the comments. I just wanna know, we all know it has good customer service. We all know the food is good. But as far as, as that, is it, the, is it the fast service? Is it, what do you guys look for when, you, when you're going out to eat? So. Quick, done. All right, now we're just gonna throw it in the egg. I'm gonna flip it over. All right, let it roll off a little bit. Whoa, slippery there. That's it. Now, roll in the breadcrumbs one time. Flip it over. I do want you to know breadcrumbs has a lot of carbohydrates, so look how thin that layer is. All right, nice and easy. Let's get all of these done. 
Oh, I did it right. I flowered it first. Thought I forgot. Quick and easy. All right, light layer. And guys, today we're using somewhat like an air fryer. That means we're not adding oil to it. It's gonna take no time. About 20 minutes and all of these are gonna be done. Actually, you should throw these fries in there now. When you make your french fries, all right, I know that you need a lot of salt. It tastes good. But all we're gonna do is add a little bit of oil to them. A little bit of salt and pepper. You know the best fries are like at the amusement park. Four long fries? Yo. Kingsy Man? Yes, sir. Yeah. Four Can't wait for those. Pepper. You ever been to Baltimore? Or not Baltimore, but Ocean City? Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, those. those ones are crazy. Crazy. So, let's see, uh, let's see how these fit out into our macros today. Homemade. Yeah, get a little messy there. Foil. All right. I don't know how much, like, you know, I'm not a big air fryer person. I feel like I'm not a big microwave person either. I'd rather just like reheat my food if I could, just by baking or uh, baking or grilling. But I'm using the actual grill mode here. But it's still probably the same concept unless it's like an outside grill. But it's gonna be quick. And today we need a meal in under 30 minutes. There we go, I think we're only gonna fit three on there and that's enough. There we go. Now, to the fries. All right. This is how we're gonna do it. We're not gonna just like pour it all over there. I'm gonna pour a little bit in my hand. And we're just gonna move it around. We're gonna rub a little bit on each one. That's how you guys get away from adding too much oil to your food. So if you don't know anything about olive oil, it is like a healthy oil, but if you do, yeah, it adds up. Take a look at that. All right, a tablespoon has 14 grams of fat, right? That's not always bad fat, but here we go. Let's add a little bit of boil walk to that if we can. Sure. A little bit of boil walk. Yeah, just got a little salt on these today. The rest I'm gonna just finish with ketchup. I'm like the type of person that can't have potatoes without ketchup. All right, cut this one, add a little more because I do want these to taste good. A little more. Ah. Anyways, guys, this is, this is not necessarily a cheat meal, but you know, hmm. you can categorize it where you want. I just don't think it's that bad. It's a little bit better, but not too bad. All right, you can get away with it. We're back, this is the fast food. We're back to it, I mean, add a little, you know what I mean? Add a little, and pepper. Yeah, let's balance out the taste a little bit. Here we go. Ooh. Ooh. Let's go for the, check it in 20 minutes or so. Uh, 30 minutes. Check back at 15. Come on, man. <laughs> Let me on a break. <laughs> I'm in love with the sauce. You're a Polynesian guy. I'm a Polynesian guy. This is bad for you. Yeah, let's check the macro. That's bad macro, for macro you. Macro check. They don't have it on the sauce when you buy it, but. Macro check. It's at the store. I had to get it. I think I'll use only a teaspoon or a tablespoon. That's bad as it could be. 
Yeah, it could be worse, but there's a lot of sauces that's better. Mess it up. Took a piece, scan the bread off of my chicken. Be perfect when it come out. All right, so look guys, we're almost done. Our chicken is there. Potatoes might take a little while, but of course you want those to come out nice and hot. Now, as far as my bread goes, I got my buns. Some nice buns. I always make the sandwich a little better. Just smell them. Oh, see how fresh they are. <laughs> All right, let's not wet the bread up. Best way to toast them. We're gonna toast them lightly. I actually think I should just like put them on the stove. Are you gonna toss them in toast? Nah, let's not put them in toast. Yeah. It's gonna squish my bread up. Okay. Gonna mess up my presentation. Let's throw them on the stove for a second. A nice little. Uh, this is a little bit too small. I got one for it. Nice little heat. Right? Or no? About six or seven. The bun definitely adds a lot of flavor to it. So if I might put a little bit of butter. Yeah, a little bit of butter. Yeah, that's it. It's all good. It's all good. I don't even know how you measure that. It's, it's literally gonna be like, yeah. It's all good. And it actually, I started using butter a lot more than olive oil. Butter kind of like digests faster. It kind of like goes through you a little bit better than olive oil does. So we're gonna just do a swipe of that on each piece of bread. And it's gonna taste much better. And that's the big point. It tastes a lot better than olive oil. All right, biggest point. All right, let's get that pan out. I think I gotta wash it. You know what I should do? I know what to do. I think I'm gonna just let it like toast in the butter. Guys, I'm gonna I'm come up with more tricks for you guys. I'm gonna just, I'm always experimenting. I'm cooking like, of course, every day. So the more I learn, the more you're gonna learn. And I don't mind, I don't mind sharing what I learned with you. Just get a little, boom. Let it melt in there. Just like music. All right, let's see what we got. Whole thing doesn't have to melt. <laughs> piece by piece. How, how you like your bread? You like your bread like soft so or? So it'll be a nice toasted circle around the edge. For you? That's how I like it. So that's not like it's not super hard. hard. But honestly, I don't mind it being toasty. I told you earlier. Yeah, yeah. Another one, exactly. I love that char grilled stuff. Anything well, grilled. Anything like burnt? Kind of, yeah. It burnt. <laughs> not too burnt. Not too burnt, but. Coming out pretty good. Let's make sure we cut the insides, but it's looking good. Fish fries. Sound good. I think we're gonna not soak the bread. We're gonna pour this into a little cup. And we're gonna bring it right back. I don't want it soaked, I just want it flavored. You guys wanna keep a clean kitchen clean while you cook. Yeah, I don't like, cause then you get tired and then you don't wanna clean, like, you know, just while stuff is cooking, put it away. Don't leave it out, because it's just messy, right? Nobody want to come home to a messy kitchen or wake up to it, which is even worse. Yes, it is. All right, coming up on the end. Just want to see if the potatoes, if you can poke, poke through them up. That's pretty good. The thing about these, right, I cooked so many at one time. Not bad, but they'll be even crispier, like a, like a real french fry, if you don't stack them on top of each other. So let's just move it around a little bit. Put it back in there for a few minutes, but I just like potatoes. So as long as they a little bit healthier and buying them from some fast food place, and it's a plus. 
Now for the chicken, just cook within like 25 minutes. Just gotta make sure that the middle, and I think we good, yep. Perfect. All right, chicken is done. You want to just turn off, and now it's time to dress it up. We're going for two sandwiches today. Yes, sir, big gains. Got a big appetite. Got muscles to feed. <laughs> Yo, y'all used to watch wrestling back in the day? Big Papa Pump? Y'all know about Scott Steiner? He passed away, but man, he used to come out. I think that was one of the guys that inspired me. Like, I feel like he had like two biceps. Yeah, this one and another one that came out. And he just come out every time. He used to beat everybody. A little short guy, but entertaining. You can start throwing that in there. Start kissing the biceps? Yeah, after you get like, uh, you done, settle like. Here we go. Oh, man. All right, what happened to my fork? Here we go. Let's dress it up. Now, as you can see, this is a bigger sandwich than what you'll get as well. It might be a little too sure, big. So I make this two or, or what? Depends on the gains. What Ooh, macros, I baby? mean, I mean, wow, I mean, I mean, I'm gonna eat it like this. What you guys think, man? I, I'm eating like this. I'm telling you that you however I'm showing you guys, it might be different, but if I'm gonna eat it, it's gonna look just like this. All right, look, I want you guys to know, when you make stuff at home, you get a larger por portion size. In this case, you get it more protein, same amount of carbs, just a little bit healthier. So this is Chick-fil-A for you right here. I'm just gonna, well, let's just, sure, put, it, yeah, let's just sure. put it side by side. If I put this sandwich here, a little bit prettier here, but this is a lot bigger. All right. Chick-fil-A, like I said, no knock on Chick-fil-A. I love it. It's air fried. This is probably just fried, dipped in some uh, in some in some grease and some oil. So, oil is, is it peanut oil? Oh no, that's the worst too. All right, so you guys just watch out for your gains. This is a comparison, and of course, I'm gonna have to. This is what I would do anyway. If you guys wasn't watching. I will be doing this. <laughs> this is an honest test. I don't even have to taste Chick-fil-A because I, I know how that tastes. I mean, I'm not mad with this one. I mean, it's not Chick-fil-A, but like, I wouldn't be mad if I had to eat this instead of that. Okay. Put a plate down. Take a break. Wrap it up. I'm gonna finish this in a few seconds. <laughs> but before I do, I want to thank you guys for watching. Tune in to this channel. I'm trying to help you get better, and I want you guys to keep giving me ideas that I can help a little bit more each and every time I put out a video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.